It's two and a half hours to my first live show, the broadcast live happening on YouTube. We are doing a test run dress rehearsal tonight for everybody who backed the project. Am I shitting it? Yes, I am. I've been working on this and thinking about it nonstop for months. The money from the funding only came through like two weeks ago. So I've only had about a week with all the technology that we're gonna be using. Nothing has enough plugs or holes or space for anything that we need. So tonight is going to be a little, a little bare bones as far as number of cameras and microphones, but that will be easily fixed. Uh, I just need to go more wireless. I wasn't, I wasn't really thinking that I couldn't turn my microphones into wireless mics, but they aren't Bluetooth capable. I was trying to save everybody some money because they were mics I already had, but the mics I have were for a wired podcast that I was doing. So now I need to invest in some wireless mics. I am going to try this camera tonight. This one worked like a dream setting up. It's a Logitech Mevo. I'm schwitzing because I'm so nervous and hot. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to try the Logitech Mevo tonight as my main camera because it also has sound on it. And if the sound is good, maybe I won't need anything else. I'm, I'm probably still going to get new microphones <sighs> and probably a couple more of the Mevo cameras because there's, they were very, very simple to um, get hooked up to my computer and then charge and use wirelessly. So I'm hopeful that that will be an easy fix that this week I can get two more cameras and then we can have multiple options for views on the show. Another piece of tech, none of this is sponsored by the way, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. The Elgato Stream Deck, where I have programmed in all my different scenes and sounds and everything. And I've set up, been able to set up like multiple things going off at the same time with a delay. I think it's gonna make switching between scenes, triggering different effects very easy. And since I'm running things mostly by myself with some help from Liz behind the scenes, <clears throat> um, ease of use is really important. It's been downpouring all day, which I think is good luck because it's rained like crazy on every big day in our lives as a couple. We're gonna load up the car and head into the city and get everything set up. And hopefully it won't be a total disaster. I'm having a lot of feelings about this. I am feeling nervous and excited and confident that it'll go well. I've put in a lot of work, but there's always that, you know, that fear that something will go terribly wrong. I'm feeling very, very grateful for the people who pushed this project over the finish line and for the chance to do something that I really am excited about for the first time in a long time. Um, I will say there's a, there's kind of a loneliness that I'm feeling. And I will be talking to my therapist about this. And I've always had this <clears throat> as, a, as an artsy fartsy creative person. Sometimes people in my life don't understand what I'm doing. They, and that's, I mean, it's just a completely different kind of thing. It doesn't, seem necessary or important to them as it does to me, or it doesn't seem as necessary or important or urgent or like it matters as much. And maybe that's just a perception I have, but in general, I feel like most people in my life don't understand most of the weird shit that I do. And that's okay. But also when I'm, I'm in a place where I'm really excited about something, it's hard to feel like there aren't many people that I can go to and share that with and feel that same kind of 
understanding and excitement in return. It's the reason that going to grad school and meeting a bunch of other creatives when I was, you know, studying writing was such a wonderful thing because they got it, you know, like they understood that we do things because we need to, and they don't always make sense to other people. I am missing all my creative people, all my friends, my artsy fartsy friends. I did get a wonderful gift and card from another one of my friends um, who I used to do a podcast with for five, five years. Uh, and it made me cry. <laughs> so I know that I'm, I'm just having a lot, I'm having a lot of feelings about this whole adventure. I don't know if it's imposter syndrome or an inferiority complex or what, but I, I'm hopeful, but there is a bit of, there's a bit of loneliness in the hope, you know, because I'm doing this instead of, I don't know, something that people might understand more. Like you're going on YouTube. What is live streaming? I don't know what that is. What's the point? So hopefully there are other people that are as excited about this as I am, or at least somewhat excited. And hopefully I can show everyone that this is something worth investing in because a lot of you have invested some money. I've invested some money. I've invested countless hours at this point. So I'm ready to get it off the ground, start it rolling forward and start building something new. We were driving to the studio now with all of our things. Two our, hands on the wheel, guys. Two hands on the wheel. It's raining. How do you feel? Excited. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. Nervous, but excited. And uh, the guy who runs the radio station where I'm doing this just said, oh, send me a link and I'll check it out after my, my meeting. So I sent him a link and I realized the title of the episode is The Antichrist is Coming Plus Fart Bracket. And I was like doing real uh, highbrow stuff here at your radio station. So uh, I think he'll have a pretty good idea of the kind of foolishness that will be happening <laughs> week to week. Uh, I hope he likes it, but we'll see. The hair is up because it is frizzy and look at this humidity. Under yeah, look at this the frizz. Look at this humidity, yeah. <laughs> under these under these lights, <laughs> Mama's gonna be sweating. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna be like, uh, where's the where's the climate control in this it's room? Right down to meat locker. <laughs> we need a meat locker for this. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna grab quick dinner. Uh, we have to work out our Monday routines now. I was, I was saying that last night because we don't want to be getting Wendy's every Monday. No, definitely, definitely not. not. <sighs> We're going to get there. We're going to do my little makeups, set everything up, and fucking let it rip. We're just in the lab. <laughs> in the studio. It's a green screen. It's so cool. just wrapped the first show and we learned a lot I think I think it went pretty well what do you think Lizzie it was awesome. yeah we definitely learned some things so yeah nice. yeah we've got some some kinks to work out but that was expected that was a big reason I wanted to do this 
And now we're gonna head home and crash and get ready for next week. This was so fun, especially the fart segment. I think that was definitely a highlight. Everyone had a really good time. So can we should do even more of that stuff. See y'all next week.